In this video, you will learn how to design a removable partial denture. At the surveying and blocking out step, you are able to block any undercuts caused by a chosen insertion direction. The software will automatically offer you a zero tilt insertion direction. If necessary, it can be changed with the help of blue arrows. Or, alternatively, with the set from view button. Click Preview to block undercuts with wax. If you are satisfied with the result, click Next. Trim wax in the places where clasps retaining parts will be located. To do that, use the Remove button. Optionally, you can use the Add or Smooth buttons if you need to remove some artifacts or add relief on the scan surface. To proceed to the RPD design step, click Next. Start with the retention grids. Select the type you want and click the Draw Retention Grid Outline button. Move the mouse cursor to the model and start drawing the outline. To finish drawing, put the last point on the first one. You can also change the shape of the outline. To do that, Click on any point and drag it to a new direction. The same goes with removing a point or whole spline. Right-click on any point and from the drop-down menu choose either Remove Point or Delete Spline. It is possible to change the grid pattern's orientation with the help of a joystick. Activate it by selecting the respective retention outline with a mouse click. Creating the retention structures on the lower jaw is mainly done by combining a torus ladder with a plain grid. To see the result, click Preview. The major connector step is for connecting the retention grid with the help of different outlines. Use Major Connector for the upper jaw. And Lingual Bar for the lower jaw. For the second one, you can choose between an anatomical and a standard bar. You can add occlusal rests for teeth. Windows, which are the special opening in the major connector or relief zone on the inner part of a denture. To finalize the outlines, the last spline point needs to be clicked once. Click Preview to see the results. To add clasps, select the preferred type from the drop-down menu and click the Draw Clasp button. It will be finalized with a single click on the last control point. You can adjust the shape of the clasps with the help of the keyboard shortcuts. Here you can also place a minor connector Click Preview to see the results. If at any stage you forget to connect the parts of an RPD, you will get information telling you to fix the design before proceeding to the next step. Click Next to move to the Sculpt sub-step. Now you can smooth the sharp inner corners near the interproximal zone, since placing the finishing line on the sharp ones can lead to undesired results. At the finishing line substep, place the spline by clicking the corresponding button and draw it on the model. To swap the line direction, right click on the spline and select Reverse Spline. To perform the final editing, click Next and proceed to the finalize step. Use the wax knife tool to shape your RPD improve its visual appearance and make it stronger. If needed, add attachments by selecting RPD from the attachment settings. For example, for retaining posts or holes for the acrylic flow. Click Next to proceed to the pre-manufacturing sub-step. At this sub-step you can add tissue stops and support bars to your denture. Click the Add Tissue Stop button 
specify the desired diameter of stops and left click on the model to place it. Then select the desired diameter of the support bar and click the Add Support Bar button. Created by placing two control points on the model and then left click. It will be automatically placed. If you would like to use stippled wax, choose its preferred type from the drop-down menu. Change the pattern height or linear space if needed. Click Next to move to the Save step. Now you can send your RPD for manufacturing. Here is an example of manufacturing final restoration and how it could look after production. You have now learned how to design an RPD. Thank you for watching.